end of the weekend But I still wanna turn up Yeah, I still wanna turn up All I want is to go again But you ain't picking your phone up Why you messing my head up? Any night, any day Let me take you away All I need is just saying yeah, 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 yeah Better nights, better days When you're here with me, babe Cause you're all that I crave So I wanna Hi guys, it's me. Um, I know I'm always more than likely looking in the wrong direction, but it's been a minute and I decided to come back to do this video. Um, the hubby and I went out today and we're just getting back in. Can you believe it? He was out all day with me. I had some errands to run. Um, and so we left here probably about, mm, it probably was a little bit after 10. So we're just getting back and it is 6.42. So yeah. So anyway, you guys have not seen me in a while and um, I cut my hair. So let me tell you what happened. So I have had a tumultuous summer. Um, and when I mean tumultuous, tumultuous. So to start off, and I'm gonna be as brief as possible because this is supposed to be a toddler fashion haul, but I also wanted to catch you guys up because uh, of course I've been MIA. But anyway, um, we went back in the office working uh, one day a week and it was uh, May 1st. So effective May 1st, we will report back to our office to come in one day a week. And then um, after Memorial Day, no, after the 4th, after the 4th, um, we bumped up to two days a week. So we were coming into the office two days a week. And then after Labor Day, they required that we be hybrid. And we're not going to go anything past that. So we're hybrid. Um, and we will be working, I mean, work going into the office three days a week. Uh, not too many people were happy about that. I, for one, am not. So that lasted probably probably about a month and a half. And then um, three of the teams, I'm in finance and accounting, so um, headquarters tax and enterprise accounting, so only two. They have gone back to a two-day schedule. However, AP and AR, and I'm on AR, we are still on a hybrid schedule and hybrid is three days a week. So I'm not happy about that. But anyway, um, we went back into the office and when we went to two days, I noticed that people were falling off like flies, like they would be in the office and then they wouldn't be in the office and come to find out someone on our team that shall remain nameless they contracted COVID. And um, because new rules have changed around in COVID, they came back and was in the presence of myself and other team members. And then I started feeling sick. My husband, I told him I got off work one day that I was experiencing a headache. I thought it was because I was hungry because I didn't eat lunch that day. And come to find out, I had contracted COVID. And, um, Needless to say, my granddaughter was here for the summer. She contracted it and so did my husband. So I was down. So initially I had a sew-in. My sister did a sew-in in my hair and um, I was loving it. It was absolutely gorgeous. It was a bob and it was, um, ooh, what was it? Um, I'm trying to think what you call it. Um, Cause it was like two-tone. Um, ombre. It was ombre. It was so pretty. Loved it. Lasted for a short time. And then because I got sick, of course, I was sweating in my hair. And of course, it got mad and I wanted to take it out because I didn't want my hair to be damaged. So then took that out and I ended up getting braids after I got better. Well, then I got sick with uh, upper respiratory infection like in July. 
and I was down, I was sweating, and I didn't want my hair to mat with the braids, and it was just damaged. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna cut my hair, which my hair was already natural. Um, I was like, I'm just gonna cut it, and as you can see, it's not that short. I cut it, and it was actually longer than this, and then the more I looked at it, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go shorter, and I ended up going shorter, so here we are. And again, I absolutely love it. I have a great curl pattern. My hair is very soft. Um, and I, I just felt like I just needed a cut anyway. And so that's what we did. Um, I actually cut it myself. So here's my new look. And I love it. So yeah. Um, and it's, it's very convenient. So actually today we got up, we went out. Um, my granddaughter, last week we actually celebrated Brinley's, which is our youngest granddaughter, her first birthday in Tennessee. I'll insert a few clips from that. And um, that was, she had a really beautiful party. We enjoyed ourselves, we were tired. We stopped in Calhoun, Georgia at the outlets because prior to that, my mom was here for two weeks. She flew down, can y'all believe it y'all because she would not get on an airplane, but she flew down and we stopped at the um, outlets in Commerce and I purchased some things there. And then when I was talking to my granddaughter's mother, my oldest granddaughter, the size that I had purchased her, we both agreed that I should go up to a 3T. So we knew that we were gonna pass another, you know, another premium outlet. So we stopped in Calhoun on the way back and I exchanged those um, items and then I ended up picking up a couple of more things. Then I ordered, let's see, I made an order online with Gap and what else? Then I made an order with Nordstrom. So today we went to pick the order up from Nordstrom and I went to Macy's and then I had stopped at uh, Champs and Kids Foot Locker because I needed to get her some shoes. So. We were enjoying ourselves. We went and had breakfast at First Watch. And, excuse me, that was pretty good. And then we stopped at Politan Row and we ate there. And um, I ate at some, I can't think, but I had a bowl and I had the um, shrimp and chicken, hibachi chicken, hibachi chicken and shrimp. And I was gonna get like some, it was a taco place there. If you've never been, you should definitely go because uh, Politan Row is, um, it's like a upscale, uh, what do you wanna call it? How can I term it? It is like a upscale food court. They have a bar um, where you can order alcoholic beverages, um, but it's just a food court. You're not eating out of plastic or um, styrofoam or that eco-friendly type container you were eating out of silverware in China. So it's really, really nice. And a lot of people go there. So they play music and everything. So we went there and ate and I was really surprised that he wanted to go enjoy ourselves. So yeah, that's it. I just wanted to catch y'all up on that and what we did today. And um, we have food left. Um, he had he got pizza and it looked really good. I'll insert a clip. And then um, some wings. They looked like they had like sesame seeds on it. I believe it was sesame, but they his wings were really good. I, I like them. They might've been a little bit too spicy for him, but I like spice, it wasn't spicy to me, and if he doesn't want them, I'll help a brother out. But I'm gonna um, get you guys propped up. Um, let me show you what Miss Lila did. So this was my stand, and Miss Lila broke it. She th knocked it over, threw it down or something, she broke it. Um, also, my other camera, hold please, because I wanna show you. This is the GoPro. And as you can see, it has blue tape because Miss Lila knocked my phone over, I mean, my camera over, and it's I have to order a replacement. Um, 
tripod for it and it's like $40. I just need to order it. I can get it from Best Buy. It's a little more at Best Buy, but Amazon has it. I think it's cheaper. I can get it probably for $40. No, I don't know. Amazon may have it, but it's this camera store I found online. They had it. So I'm not sure if they were cheaper or Amazon. I know Best Buy definitely wasn't. And then this was the tripod that I used for my iPhone. And that's what I'm recording with right now. So that is what I would be sitting it on. Um, and then it has the remote. So I think I can still use it in some capacity in which I can. Oh, I can actually use it for the GoPro because you see this pendant? So when you take this pin out, then it's the same type on my GoPro stand. And so I can attach my GoPro to this and there would be no need for me to order this because pretty much it's the same thing. The plus for this, this is taller than this stand. And, oh, look at God. And this one has a remote. So let's see if I can get it off. But I can't, right now I can't get it off because I'm one hand in. Oh, I got it. Look at God again. So it has a little remote. So if I'm out somewhere and I'm taking pictures and I want to press when I'm ready, I can. So I just figured it out. I don't have to order another one of these for my GoPro. A lot of what was said. She also broke this one for my iPhone. You know, this is what I would sit on and record. Well, it's basically the same thing, you see that? So I can just undo this and it will attach here. And this one is better because I also will have, I can use a remote to take a picture, start recording. And this stand right here is much taller than this one. Like the height goes up higher. So I'm not gonna order one of these. I can use this for it. Okay. So I'm good to go. All right, yeah. good to go. So my battery almost um, died, it's saying low battery. But I'm gonna let it get a little juice and then I'm gonna come back and then I'm gonna show you guys what um, I picked up because she needed a couple, Lila needed a couple of things for the fall. And um, so that's what we were out today doing. And so, yeah, so once I get a full charge or you know get some juice, then I'll come back and show you what we picked up. Colony Square, baby! Okay, y'all, I'm back and it is the next day. Um, I wanted to finish recording, but I thought, I was like, you know what? I'd rather record it tomorrow. Um, so that's exactly what I did. So happy Monday. It is Monday, October the 17th, and it's actually one of my niece's birthday. So I'm going to um, reach out to her so I can wish her a happy birthday. But anyway, let me move on. So we went out and like I said, we picked up some few things for Lila and I'm going to go ahead and show you, you know, what we got for her um, because she needed some things for the fall. And so we went to finish line. I went to champs. I'm sorry. Champs and I went to finish line. So from champs and kids Foot Locker. So from champs, I got her these Jordans. So I got her some Jordans and they were on sale. I can't remember what I paid for them. They were $49 or $50. And I just got the dark color. I mean, this is the color that it came in, but it's perfect for the fall. And she has a lot of outfits with colors in it. So it'll blend. And I'm also going to get her another pair, but all black. I always get, well, my kids were small. I always purchased black sneakers for them. They lasted longer, they didn't get them dirty, and they pretty much went with everything. So I did like these, um, so I went ahead and got these for her. She's in a size seven. So that's the Jordans that I got her. And then I got these Nikes from Kids Foot Locker. So she got a pair of Nike Air Max. These also are a size seven, and they did not have her size at um champs so the young lady told me that if i took a picture of them because they had them for 35.99 or 39.99 i think it was 30 35.99 
she said, take a picture of it. If you go downstairs to Kids Foot Locker, they will allow you, they will price match. So when I went downstairs, she said they didn't have a seven. And I said, well, the young lady checked online after she saw that they didn't have them. And she saw that you guys had a seven and she told me you would price match. So she went to the back and of course they had them. So I'm really happy. And I love Air Max. So these are really cute. And again, fall colors um, and they'll blend with everything. So, you know, I'm good with that. And I ordered her some other shoes too from Oshkosh. Um, just waiting um, for them to be, I, did, you know, I didn't get them shipped. So I actually did um, in-store pickup. So they should be reaching out to me to let me know that it's available to pick up very soon. But if not, I'm gonna ship these items out tomorrow because I do UPS two day ground. So if I ship them out tomorrow for New Jersey, it'll be three days. So she won't get them to Friday because New Jersey is a little bit further and they're in the two day category as it relates to uh, UPS shipping. So from Old Navy, I picked up some thermals and I love thermals because these are your, um, these are like your um, basics. That's what I was trying to say the other day. Basics are like sweaters, um, t-shirts, uh, tunics, turtlenecks, um, things like that. Little basic things that you can pair with other items, i.e. a blazer, um, a sweater, uh, uh, let's see, a hooded sweatshirt, a vest, or things like that. So I like these because they can be paired with anything. So these were $9.99, but they had them on sale for $5. I think it was just a one day sale at Old Navy. So I got a fuchsia pink and I got it in a 4T. I got this, um, this is like a beige color and it has the little hearts. So I got it in beige and then I got an all solid beige with no pattern. And um, again, she can pair it with a sweater, um, coordinating sweater. She can pair it with a turtleneck or, um, not a turtleneck, a sweater, a vest, or a, um, a zip up hoodie. And I'm gonna grab a couple of those probably from Target or Walmart. I don't typically like to go in Walmart. I would have to go in there really, really early because Walmart, I'm, I'm just, they just, the reputation has gone down tremendously as far as service and the type of customers that are there. So I really don't fool with Walmart as much. So more than likely I'll get it from Target. Check out these. I got her these distressed jeans from Old Navy. I don't remember how much I paid for them. Um, I know I did not pay, I think they say $29.99, but they were on sale, I just can't remember. Because when you order from Old Navy or Gap, for some reason when they ship it, it's an online order, the price is not there. So they don't put the price there, so you don't know. But if I was to purchase it in the store, the price would be there. But online, for some reason, they don't um, display the price. So I got those jeans. And then she has some bell bottoms how cute is that so these are from old navy as well and it's the uh, uh five pocket jeans i guess yeah this is a little pocket so it is five pockets so these were cute um they weren't 29 i can't remember what the price was i want to say they probably were anywhere from 10 to 15 dollars that's what i'm going to say the price was because I can't remember right off hand. And then I picked up um, some stuff from Oshkosh. And I'm gonna show you what I got from Oshkosh. I got her these little jeans. They're just little straight leg jeans. I got a 4T, of course. And um, if they're too long, we always roll them up and rule of thumb. If you buy your kids jeans and they happen to be too long, no biggie, you can always roll them up. But I always say this, um, if you roll them up before washing them, take the cuff out. Because if you don't, it will create a water line. It never fails. When I take the cuff out of them before washing, when I, my kids were younger, if their jeans were cuffed, there was never a water line. I didn't have to worry about a water line because um, I uncuffed them before I washed them. 
And then to pair with those jeans, I got this cute little top, it's a 4T, and it says girls rule the world. And then the back has this cute little opening, little cutout opening, super cute. I love this. Um, I think these, it says $20, I didn't pay $20. I wanna say I paid $7 for these. So these tops or this top was $7 and I got it to pair with these jeans. So really cute. Next up, I got another pair. It's a lighter wash. These again, so Carter's had a special. They had buy, buy one, buy two, get one free. So how, what they did was originally they're $30. So you buy one for $30, you're going to get two for free. So they're $10 each. If you, you know do the math, it's $10 each. So I got her these in the lighter um, wash. And then it's going to be paired with this cute little shirt that says pumpkin spice and everything nice. And again, this is a 40. This shirt it retailed for $20. I didn't pay $20. I paid $7 for this shirt. And uh, we also got uh, Brinley because her birthday, that's our youngest granddaughter. Her birthday was this past weekend and we were in Tennessee. And I probably insert a few clips from that. We got her some stuff from there too. So then um, we got the darker wash in the 4T for her as well. Again, if they're too long, they can be rolled up, no problem. And then I love this shirt and um, Brinley's Baba loved the shirt because she is vegan and this shirt has dinosaurs. Lila loves dinosaurs and it says powered by plants and I thought it was super cute. So I grabbed that and it was $7. And so moving on, then I went to, where did I go? Um... I feel like I'm missing some. Okay, I'm not. So then I went to H&M. And H&M, they, they were a little disappointing because they normally have cute stuff. Not a lot, but they normally do more than what I saw when I went in there on Saturday. Costumes, if you're in need for costumes, oh my God, I wish my baby was here. They had the cutest little costumes in there. Um, but she's not going to be here for Halloween. And my oldest daughter, Jasmine, she just sent me an email or a text rather, and she showed me that she ordered her a costume and it's going to be shipped to her tomorrow. So she'll get it tomorrow. And these are some bell bottom light wash jeans. I got these from H&M and I believe they're going to be too long for her. So I probably will not send these. I will save them for Christmas. Not sure I may, cause they may look funny rolled up, but I got, these are not even, these are actually a three to a four. When I looked at the two to a three, they looked like they were gonna be high water and they may not, I don't know. But I went with the three to the four and three to four year old. And so we'll see, but I think they definitely are gonna be too long. And because of the style, they're not meant to be cuffed cause they're bell bottom, but we'll see. And then I paired it with this cute little rainbow top. You know, I love all the glitz and glam and all that stuff because I'm a girly girl. And um, yeah, so I paid for the jeans. They were $14.99 and the top was $9.99. So yeah, that is from H&M. And then from Oshkosh, I also, you know, Oshkosh and Carter's are one and the same. I paired this jumper with the another Old Navy little um, basic, this little top, this little tunic. And um, she got this jumper. I got her this jumper and it's so cute. It was $42. If you have children or have them, I know my kids, they all had something Oshkosh. If they didn't have the pant jumper, they had the dress and it was so cute. And I'm still in love with Oshkosh. And last year, Lila had the pant jumper um, in red and then she had, it was corduroy and then she had the corduroy dress. So yeah, this jumper was the little top Oshkosh. Well, I got it from Old Navy, it was $5. And this was originally, the jumper was $42 and then they had it marked down to 
and then it was additional 50% off that and it's a 4T and I grabbed it and it's so cute because at the bottom it cuffs and it has pink at the bottom. So grab that for her. So now I went to Macy's and I picked up her two tops. Now for me, I love to have more tops than I have bottoms because what I find with women, because we accessorize, whether it be with earrings, it's our hair that makes us look different, you know, jewelry, any type of jewelry, we can always make our bottoms look different. So I always have more tops because I will rotate my pants and my top is different and it always looks like I have a different outfit on it. People are like, oh my God, you have the most outfits and clothes, cute clothes to wear to work. No, I don't. I rotate a lot of my tops. I have a lot of tops and I just rotate it. So it always looks like I have something different on it. The bottom looks different. If I pair this top with some dress pants, the next time you might see me wear it, it might be paired with a skirt, a faux leather skirt. It's gonna always look different and it's gonna appear that I have more clothes than I have, but that's a rule of thumb. And especially with girls, you can get away with it because their hair is different. If you put a different top on them, you're gonna make the whole outfit look different. The, the jeans are gonna look different with a different color top, different hair bows to accessorize. It's gonna all change up, it's gonna look different. I showed you three or four pair of jeans that were basic skinny jeans, two pair that were wide leg. The only thing was different that were, were, was different, noticeably different, was the fact that the, the color, the wash was different. So again, if you pair it with different tops, it's going to, you can make as many outfits out of it. She could wear it one day with one of the tunics and a vest or another day with a sweater and a different shirt. So it's gonna always look different. So that's the thing about, you know, buying accessories and also buying, um, what do they call it? Um, your, um, and I just said it and now I can't think of it, but it'll come back to me. But it's just your little separates that you can add. And so here's another top. I got this from Macy's, it says $12. I actually paid $5 for this top, $5.99 to be exact. And it's really cute and I got it in a 4T. And then I also got this one and it's so cute with little fox. It's a 4T and it was $12, I paid five. Now, last summer I picked up her some items from, um, and I did a large haul, first impressions. You guys, if you have a Macy's, you can get to Macy's. All the kids, spring and summer, I don't know about adults because I didn't go over to that section, but for the kids, every year that stuff is marked down, it's on sale. Even though it's October, that stuff is still out, it's marked down. Go and grab you some stuff because I plan on going back possibly this weekend because I like to get a head start on spring and summer for next year. And now that Brinley is here, I'm going to add you know her into the mix and picking up things for her. So when we go to visit and we bring gifts to her and things like that, or bring, you know, stuff that I've just purchased all along from us, you know, we'll have it. So I got this little top, first impressions, it was $12. I got it for $5.99 and I'm pairing it with these cute little shorts. It's not a set, I just had this hanger and I'm gonna pair this together. And it is so cute guys, like so cute and it's, a size 4T, so right now, she it ended the summer wearing some 2Ts and um, a couple of 3Ts, but for next year, we know she's gonna be in a 4T. I got these shorts, all of this stuff, guys, $5.99, first impressions, great quality. Lila wore a lot of outfits that were first impressions. And this top, I paired it with this, again, $5.99. Here are the shorts that go with it. It's so cute and I cannot wait. Um, and like I said, with the accessories, her hair bows, sometimes I would do ribbons and her little shades. Sometimes she would wear the jelly sandals or cute little sneakers or little leather sandals. I'm telling you, you can just doll them up all kinds of ways. But these shorts I got, same price, $5.99. They were originally $12. And here is the shirt that I paired with that. And it's so cute. Oh my God, it says vacay every day. And she loves the little cutout openings in the back. 
So yeah, and last but not least, I stopped to Nordstrom because I had placed an online order and I picked up, because she's in New Jersey and it gets extremely cold there and I want her to be nice and warm. Oh, so she doesn't have to sew anything in here. They have a line, see, so her mom was gonna sew like a satin cap in here. But let me tell you, you see, this is what good, when you pay good money for stuff, they already have a different material in here so this knit won't break off their hair. Um, but I got this um, North Face hat. And also this North Face jacket. So I picked both of these up. The coat was $100, the hat was $25. And it's so cute. And if you know North Face, it's very warm, the jacket, because it's insulated. And I got a 4T for her in that. And it has the North Face here across the breastplate and then um, in the back. So I love it. And it has a little hood, but she doesn't have to wear the hood because she has the hat. So she has the option she can wear both. So that's what I picked up for Lila. Um, I ordered her some cute riding boots. Um, that I'll probably show you that in another haul um, because they probably, I will, probably won't be able to pick those up from the weekend because I did um, store pickup. So they'll send me an email when it's ready. Cute brown riding boots. Go to Oshkosh or Carter's right now online or in store. They are doing BOGO on their shoes. So it's buy one, get one. So I bought her some brown riding boots. So cute. And then I got her some little black um, ankle boots. Um, so cute. So I'm going to go online today because I don't know if the sale is off to see if, um, if it's not, I want to try to get her, um, some more shoes, but that's going to do it for this haul. If you are not currently subscribed to my channel, because we got a lot of stuff about to happen. We got the holidays coming up. I'm going to do some stuff for, um, Halloween because you know, I'm a treat maker. So I'm going to share some stuff for there. Lila's not going to be here like she was last year. I may do some balloons, I don't know. But we got Thanksgiving and of course Christmas and we're still making this house a home. Lila's room is 90% complete. I have to get a bed for Brindley. I think I'm gonna do like a little crib, I'm not sure. But I'm gonna put something, we gotta put something in there for her and I have to order their name signs because I want it on the wall. The bathroom is finished, it's painted. I just have to hang pictures and shelves. I have the shelves. I just have to find the pictures that I want to go in there on the wall. And then we're starting with the guest room and um, out here in the living room in the kitchen area. Our room is going to be last because we're in there. And so we just want to take care of the areas where people are going to be first. So yeah, that's going to do it for this video. If that sounds like something you're interested in and you're not currently subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe. And if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit the like button. And until then, I will see you guys in the next one. Don't be so hard Bye. to reach. Just pick up your phone. Tell me where you'll be. Cause I got a